When bass angler see pad fields, a range of emotions can surface. Everything from excitement to confusion, depending on your experience with them. And when you see anglers around pad fields, usually they are really up close and 100% focused on that vegetation in front of them. Well, the problem is this type of cover often draws our attention, draws our focus away from the bigger picture. We get so laser focused on these pads because they do a couple things really well. There are some big positives. One is they provide a lot of shade. And two, they offer cover for lots of prey species, lots of bait fish, like all of these bass fry right here are up and under the pads. But if there is some sort of current, whether that's from the wind, natural current, or man-made current from boat wakes, these pads can often slow that current down to the point that the bass are just not under them like we think they are. Here is a perfect example when it comes to lily pads. So we have pads all along this flat that is also positioned here in a funnel. And the wind is blowing pretty good on this particular day. Now take a look at the water movement underneath these pads. And it's important to note that this pad field is not nearly as dense as they can be. I would consider these sparse pads. Now while we can witness some movement within the water column, there's some particles moving around, nutrients, that type of stuff. There's a little bit of debris floating around, but it's important to note, I could find no bass up here underneath these pads. Now when we move out away from the pad, so we're just out here in the bright sunshine, but there's a fair amount of wind driven current, all of a sudden, the movement within the water column increases exponentially. That current can really be seen moving particles, moving debris through the water, and that so often gets the food chain activated. And as soon as I moved off of those lily pads, away from that edge, probably 15 or 20 feet out into that flat, I started to see all kinds of life. There were bass roaming around all over the place. There was even a big old pike here in the background. You can see it kind of move through as it was working through the current over this flat away from the pad field. Now in this particular flat, there was a lot of vegetation. It was all over the bottom. So the bass would keep roaming, keep moving around at a pretty good pace until they ran across an area of a little bit harder bottom composition. And when they did, then they started to relate to that spot. They would still move around a little bit, but it wasn't covering as much area. So they would really focus on a hard spot and then maybe move off to another one. Now your lake or river or, or pond, whatever you're fishing, may be just the opposite. The primary bottom composition could be all rock. Well, when that's the case, then start to look for that different type of cover. That could be a weed clump, it could be a big boulder in a rubble pile, or it could possibly be a log or some wood that got jammed up on that flat. And this is another classic example where oftentimes we are sitting right on top of the fish. What do we got here? Oh, this one feels good. Stay on there. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Nice fish. That's a better one. That's a big, fat, healthy fish. So when you approach a pad field, think about, is there some sort of current? Focus on that first, whether it's from the wind, boat traffic, natural current, whatever it might be, and really work those areas out away from that particular pad field. And then when you've exhausted that, well now go ahead and get up there and see if the bass are up underneath that vegetation. And if you do that with, and if you use that approach, I think you're gonna catch yourself some really nice fish, fish that others are just going right over the top of. And hey, if you wanna watch a video that shows how bass actually attack panfish beds. Very interesting what they were doing here. Go ahead and check this one out and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.